Samsung has unveiled the new Galaxy S8. Came out yesterday. Joining us now is Tom's Guy dot com's editor in chief. His name is Mark Spooner, our frequent guest on the program. All right, Mark, I know you got one with you. Yes. First of all, give me a quick list of what's new and what's good on the Galaxy 8. Okay, so there's three big things. Go one on. is the fact that it's almost all screen up front, and you yep. have an all new design. Beautiful. And it sort of gets rid of those bezels that you see on the iPhone mm. 7 that I have over here. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's a beautiful display, and it supports HDR, which means more color. So it's almost like having a 4K <laughs> TV okay. in your yeah. hand. That's one. Uh, that's one. The second one is that is Bixby. So it's not activated on this phone yet, but it's basically Samsung's answer to Siri. But instead of just answering questions, it let you, lets you do things where you would otherwise tap or do multiple taps, like send this photo to mom or shoot this video over to my TV. So it's actually a little oh. bit smarter than Siri is in terms of interacting with and other devices. you can devices. say that to Bixby. That's right. right. Said. Okay, yeah. number three. Three is being able to actually use a phone as a mini PC. So they're going to be selling a dock called Dex that's going to be coming out this mm. spring. You drop it in and you'll be able to output, because these things are phone, these are, these are powerful mm. phones, right? Just as powerful as a laptop. Yeah. So you'll be able to enjoy Android and multiple apps on the big screen with a keyboard and mouse. Okay, huh. there's three good things about it. Yep. Uh, and you can take it on a plane, okay? I'm not being facetious, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can play it on a plane no, in safety, your pocket. No, no safety problem. is huge, and they, they talked about the eight-point battery check that okay. they're doing, so yeah. we'll they have to it. see. They got it right. right. Now, how much? So the price is a little bit more expensive than last time around, starting at 750 so basically in the iPhone ballpark. Well, actually, that makes it more expensive than cheaper iPhone models, yes. doesn't it? That's right. So the iPhone SE starts as low as 399 So it's clear that Samsung is going after the premium market with mm. this device. So it's a little bit of a gamble well, given the fact that there's other low-cost Android phones, but this is where Samsung wants to play. Okay. Now, if I'm going to pay 750 bucks for a new phone, mm -hmm. I want it to be a breakthrough. Right. I want it to be a real leap forward mm -hmm. for technology. Mm -hmm. Is it? In some ways, yes, but there's also, like, we're waiting for, to see how good Bixby is as an assistant, mm -hmm. for example. So I think the jury is still out. There are some things that we don't love about the phone. For example, the camera, although it's great, it's not a dual shooter that you have on the iPhone 7, so you don't get that true optical zoom. Uh, and then, like, there's some other things that we're going to have to wait and see on in terms of the battery life and how long that lasts. Which would you rather have, an iPhone 7 or a Galaxy 8? <laughs> Come on. I'd rather have the Samsung design with the iPhone ecosystem and apps. But you can't but you have can. it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants it all. Mr. Spoon <laughs> you failed the final test, but the rest were pretty good. Thanks very much, sir. We right, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Good luck now.